I wanted to create a video to talk about the idea of having a product list or a product showcase for Thrive Apprentice. Now, this one's a little bit of a, a tricky one, and I'm getting this question more and more. So I wanted to make a little bit of a let's chat moment type video, as well as a let me show you some things uh, that can be done. But don't skip the chat part, because I think it's really important to understand the, the premise and the foundation of this discussion. So using Thrive Apprentice, you can create what are called products. And like I've talked about on this channel now for, for several years, products are like a box. They're like a container. And you can put things inside this box, like a course or a blog post or a blog category. You can put protected products inside this box. It's basically just the vessel, the container, that you are giving access to giving somebody access to when you sell the product. Now you can sell the product through various mechanisms, Thrivecart, Surecart. You can grant free access to a product by a user role. However you give somebody access to the product, they get access to what's inside. So now that we've defined what a product is, we need to think about this idea of creating a product list. It's different than creating a course list because if you think about a course list, a course is a single thing and a list of those single things is one-to-one. -one. It's a list of these single things. How would you create a list of products if products are just boxes that hold things that themselves are somewhere else? So for example, a Thrive Apprentice product could have a course inside of it, but the course sits over here. That same product could have a protected file in it that sits over here, and that same product could have a page in it that sits over here. In Convology Pro, my membership, I have in a single product, I have 10 courses, protected files, I don't know how even many, I have probably five or six different pages for replays for office hours and a bunch of other things. All of that is in one single product. And then I have varying degrees of different products with, with things inside of them. So how would I make a product list, a showcase of my products and have someone be able to interact with that and be sent off to go to that product when that product itself has no physical representation, it's not manifested in any way. Think about that, right? If, if I made a product list, my product list would say Convology Pro, Convology Community Membership, course, 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 etc. And if someone clicked on Convology Pro, where would they go, right? Because that in and of itself is just a collection of things. So with that out of the way, I think that that helps us understand why a product list does not exist in the Thrive ecosystem, right? Thrive Themes, the company did not make a product list element, right? Because it can't exist. It's just not the way it works, which is counterintuitive to people because people that ask this question are often thinking that a product list is a representation of a single thing like a widget, a shirt, a shoe, a pair of shoes it's not a collection of things that go into a box. So that needed to be explained because I think that in and of itself may just make you say, oh, I get it now. Okay, and if so, I hope you enjoyed the video. But I think there are some situations where a product list might make sense if your products are not multiple things in a box. If your products are, in many cases, I work with a lot of people where the situation is the product is delivered on a single page and a single page might represent the for lack of a better word the ecosystem of the product i don't i can't think of a better word here's an example let's say that i let's use my convology pro example so let's say that convology pro has all these other products on it however i could create a single page ironically that's also protected by the product and then on that page I would then put links to all the different things like, oh, you joined this product. Here's a link to this download. Here's a link to this course. Think of it like a silo page. So 
I could create a single page and then use the post list element, which can also show pages in order to showcase this array of different products or the landing page, or maybe each of your products has a dashboard that you would use to show. So let's jump in now and look at the actual mechanics of building this thing because it's not complex. In fact, it's very similar to just about everything else. So let's dive in and take a look and then we'll come back at the end and we'll do a couple more thoughts that I wanted to get across. Here we are on a normal page on my website and we're going to add in a, just a basic post list. So we'll search in our elements for a post list and we'll drop it onto our page. We're not going to get fancy with our design here. Let's go ahead and choose a very simple post list element. I'm just going to choose this one right here. What the post list does by default is it goes out and it looks for all of your standard posts that are in the normal WordPress post post type. So what we want to do is we want to filter our posts by on the left hand side under post list, clicking on filter posts. And now we're going to choose to display instead of posts, we're going to choose to display pages. We'll uncheck that. Now we have pages to display, but we don't want to show every page on our site. We want to add a rule to only show specific pages. Those specific pages will search by title and then we'll display pages that are, let's search for product because I've made a couple product ones. Let's search for product A and let's search for product B. It's in here somewhere, there it is. And let's search for product C. There it is. There's product A, B, and C. Now we're going to click save and close. So now I've been able to show product A, B, and C, and I might wanna rearrange the order of these. So let me filter the posts again, and I can choose to order them by the date they were published, or I can order them by the title. Maybe that makes more sense, or I can randomize them, or I can use any of these options here. So we'll do by title, and we'll also change this to ascending, and we'll click save and close. There we go, now we have product A, B, and C. Now by default, this is pulling in the featured image. The featured image is dictated at the page level and it works just like a post. So let's go to my WordPress post editor here and let's take a look on the right hand side. You can see that there is a featured image for product C and I can add a featured image by clicking here and adding it from my WordPress library. There we go, I've added an image to my product and now let's return to our post list. Let's go ahead and save our work and refresh. As you can see, product C now has a featured image. And if I select my post list on the left-hand side under post list, I can click edit design and I can make little tweaks to this. I can essentially do whatever I want for, for the design within the scope of what Thrive can do. But maybe I want to select the product title or click the text that the product title is in. And maybe I want to now center this under the, the product image. And then I can click out of that to apply it to all of them. Okay, let's assume that I'm happy. Now I can click save work and I can preview it. And now I have a very simple product list that leads to a very specific page on my site. So let's say I wanted to go to product C, I would click on product C and this would be the page. Obviously it's empty for this demo. What if your page looked more something like this? Now, this is just an example of my overall courses landing sales page. However, what if we ran with the Comology Pro example and what if it started like right about here? And instead of our courses, it said my courses or courses in Comology Pro and someone could then, instead of it being learn more, it would say go to course and you would then just either insert a course list element onto the page, which I've gone over on the channel. You can find other videos or you could manually make these different components and have these just go into each of the courses directly. And then what if you scroll down and maybe the section was protected files and you could call them like my downloads. And this would be a great little product landing hub for the product that you've made inside of Thrive Apprentice. So that's a very simple, straightforward way of using a post list element, which can also be a, as you saw, page list element to create a product list inside of Thrive Architect to represent the products that you've added inside of Thrive Apprentice. This doesn't do a ton of good for the people out there who say to me, well, Doug, I have 50 or 100 different products. Those are usually the people that use WooCommerce or like a big e-com setup and want to migrate to something more like Thrive Apprentice. I don't know if this setup is right for you. I don't know if making a list like that is right for you. But if you have a ton of time and the desire to make a 
ton of different manual pages, you could. You could very well do that, and it would work decently well for you. In some cases, instead of using pages, if you had, let's say, 100 products, I would say use posts instead and give those posts a category and call it, I don't know, products. And then take that category and use a post list to only show posts in the category product and then filter that category off of your blog post or if you're using a post list for like a normal blog, let's say on your main site, then I would say filter that category off of your main blog and just use that category for representing products. So you could say, show all posts with the category product and then maybe add additional tags onto those products. Like maybe your products are broken up into categories. We'll use something really simple like courses, workshops, and downloads. So you could have posts created that contain groups of downloads. You could have posts that link off to a bunch of courses. And you could have posts that link off to other, other things like, uh, what did I say, courses. And then you would say display all posts that have the tag or category product and then have this tag and then make another post list that posts that have category product with this tag. You just want to be careful that you don't create too much confusion and work for yourself if there was just a better way to begin with. And to be honest, you may just want to ask yourself, is my business with 50 products really meant for Thrive Apprentice? Remember that Thrive Apprentice is a membership plugin but memberships typically don't have 50 to 100 products. Memberships typically have a handful of different membership levels. And if your products are courses, then just use a course list or sell your products individually or lump your courses into a handful of product levels. I think that you just have to kind of rethink how you're approaching the use of Thrive Apprentice and decide is this ultimately the right tool for you? Are you trying to replace WooCommerce with Thrive Apprentice? Probably not the right direction to go. As always, if you have additional questions, you're welcome to post them down below and I'll do my best to get to them. But the best way to get hands-on help for me is inside of the Convology community membership. You can go into our community, you can ask questions and get help directly from me and other members or inside of Convology Pro where you can also get access to all of my courses. If you're interested in either of those, I'll leave links down below in the description and I'll see you in the next video.